Batman! Batman! Look out! It's over. Drop the gun. Look, I promise I'm not gonna shoot you, okay? I used to think you were a threat, but I was wrong. We both have much bigger problems right now. I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Those guys had me pinned down. It's okay. It's in the past. I forgive you. Thank you. It means a lot coming from you. I don't know what I was thinking coming out here alone. I nearly blew it. I could be dead. Or you could be dead. And it'd be on me. You're lucky I was here to clean up the mess you made. This was reckless. You're one to talk. I don't need a lecture coming from you, Batman. I still don't understand how they knew I was coming. Heads up. The cops just sent three black and whites to stop our guys going after Dent. For the chatter, sounds like Gordon's with them. Someone's gotta help Gordon. They know he's coming. Go. I'll see what I can find here. I'm not giving up on this. Alfred. Are you all right? Yeah, but they knew I was coming. They seem to be getting info on the GCPD's whereabouts. Not sure how. I need an update on Harvey. Bringing it up now. Deborah, get down! <gasps> Mr. Dent, what did you do to him? I said get back in the car! There's more of them coming! Put down your weapon! There's too many of them! Everybody take cover! You'd better get down there. On my way. Self-defense, he says. New mayor's pretty tough, turns out. Killed one of those guys attacking him with his bare hands. Dent did that? Guess the fellow's lucky Dent got to him before you did, huh? You're right. I wouldn't have let him off that easy. Course you wouldn't. We got our asses handed to us. They knew you were coming. How? We've been using a secure channel. You saying we got a leak? Gordon, Gordon to, command. to command. Anyone, Anyone there? there? Command, command here. here. What is what it, is Gordon? Gordon? Turn that off. What? what? It's been compromised. The children of Arkham are listening in on the GCPD's communications. I'm gonna look into this. I'll let you know what I find. Bruce? The GCPD's been compromised. The children of Arkham were listening the whole time. How? That's what I'm going to find out. Alfred, I'm sending over evidence of some kind of encrypted communication signal. It's coming up on my screen now, but I'm afraid it looks like a bunch of gibberish to me. I need to go to Wayne Tower and look into this. Get me Lucius on the line. Yes, right away. If the public finds out the police aren't able to communicate... <sighs> we'll fix this, Alfred. We'll make it right. We just have to stay focused. Yeah, I admire your determination, sir. Just be careful, Bruce. I have Lucius on the line now. Bruce, are you there? I'm looking at this data Alfred sent me. It's messy. I have to know what the children of Arkham are doing. How fast can you decrypt? It's a tough one, but I should have it cracked soon if you can meet me at Wayne Tower. Already on my way. <laughs>
Almost there, Lucius. I'll meet you down in the lab. Some aspects of the Children of Arkham surveillance are worrying. Great. Bruce. Chairwoman. I didn't think you'd be here. I was, uh... I used to look to Thomas for guidance in hard times. Must seem silly. After everything that's happened. You know what they say about old habits. To what do I owe the pleasure, Regina? I'm sorry. I just needed to clear my head. Sort things out. In my office? I know it's irregular, but it's nice to have a reminder of the Waynes every once in a while. In all their glory. I've been called in for an emergency board meeting. I wasn't told about it. You weren't invited, Bruce. You are the topic of discussion for the board. They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Whether to dismiss you or not. You have to understand, Bruce. This company is bigger than any one individual. We have to keep face. And after this scandal... <laughs> what? They can't fire me. It's possible they can. It's the most logical solution, with the business in jeopardy. It doesn't mean I have to agree with it, though. Bruce, I've got something. You need to get down here. Now! I worked with your parents for years, and neither of them gave any indication of foul play. How could you have ever known? Bruce! You're nothing like him, Bruce. We always build up the people closest to us. I appreciate the sentiment, Regina. Thank you. I mean what I said before. Families like ours need to flock together. Perhaps now, more than ever. I should head down. I don't want them to make a decision without me. I'll come find you after. I'll be right down, Lucius. Good to hear she's still in your corner. <laughs> Spying on my conversations again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. There have been whispers that the board was going to take action against you. If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit too. I know the cave is well equipped, but all of this is owned and paid for by the company. It doesn't matter what the board does. We'll be fine. I'm not going to let anything get in the way of what we're doing down here. Try saying that when you can't access this wing anymore. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. What have you got? It's Wayne Tech, Bruce. As you know, Wayne Enterprises is a telecommunications giant. If someone were to, say, uh, build a backdoor into that tech... You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into the system? So that's the thing. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, you're not gonna like it. Just get on with it, Lucius. We don't have time for games. Forgive me for trying to lighten the mood. The back door they're using. I was the one who built it. You? What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started, you needed a way to monitor the city. Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. 
I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move. I've encrypted our access. I can fortify it, but it's gonna take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains, how did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? They shouldn't have been able to find it, not unless they knew what they were looking for. When the cops raided the manor, they seized every computer belonging to Wayne Enterprises. Mayor Hill must have given them to the children of Arkham. Trying to save himself, I'm sure. I'm gonna keep working on this children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. I always wonder why you had a table that could hide itself. I guess it's coming in pretty handy now. Trust me, it was much more paranoia than precaution. Thermal vision? <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? Not sure I'll ever get the first one back from Selina. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole. Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. A new sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. Boom. Nice. Be careful. Those things pack a serious punch. Tiffany's really taking after you. And Luke, stubborn as always. I think of what Gotham has become, and I think of them. They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. He's the only one that will truly protect them. And he will, Lucius. Always. Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. So, anything new? This is gonna take some time. Don't worry. I'll let you know when I find something. Harvey Dent gave a rousing speech late last night, refuting claims that the children of Arkham were gaining control in Gotham. Despite his run-in with the masked group on the way to the event, people are still hopeful that Mayor Dent can pull through on his campaign promises. Who are the children of Arkham really fighting for? Who is Batman really protecting? Because it's not us. It's time that we, not masked vigilantes and violent fringe groups, fought for ourselves. I will fight every day for Gotham, and I ask that you join me. Don't worry. I'll let you know when I find something. elected mayor Harvey Dent gave a rousing speech late last night, refuting claims that the children of Arkham were gaining control in Gotham. Despite his run-in with the masked group on the way to the event, 
people are still hopeful that Mayor Dent can pull through on his campaign promises. Who are the children of Arkham really fighting for? Who is Batman really protecting? Because it's not us. It's time that we, not masked vigilantes and violent fringe groups, fought for ourselves. I will fight every day for Gotham. And I ask that you join me. We are proud citizens of Gotham, and this is our city. Next up, we speak to Commissioner Grogan regarding increased security measures citywide. Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. And before you do... Here. Get that back to the bat computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the Children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Now get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting. Mr. Wayne, Bruce, open up. I thought maybe you'd left. Yeah, right. <sighs> well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. This is just a temporary setback. Well, that's entirely up to you, Bruce. You need to prove to the board that you can be trusted in the seat. Just lie low. Don't cause a scene. It'll turn out. I ask to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. Well, you should have fought harder. The board would have listened to you. They'd already made up their minds. I did what I could. You have to trust me on that. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, old boy. Good to see you again. As you know, Oswald's parents were... Well, victims of your father's actions. 
This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Oh, well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name now. Well, I hear you've been keeping yourself pretty busy, Oswald. You sure you can handle this? I mean, wasn't there a revolution that you had to handle? I'm a brilliant multitasker. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. I refuse to hand my company over to a criminal. Don't do this, Bruce. Oh, don't worry now. I'm going to take good care of this place. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. Bruce! I need security in here right now. No, oh, what was that This is for? a disaster. You've lost your bloody mind. Bruce, stop this. Get him out of my office. Let's go. I'm so sorry, Mr. Copperpot. I'll go fetch the medic. That's very kind of you, Regina. Thank you.